They walked out immediately afterwards, so I'm just gonna try to pick up in the middle of the sentence, but I lost it, so I can't. Old stork who understands little of economics, but I believe I may have found the solution to our problem. The treasure of the tomb of the timber tyrant of alliteration. If you promise to help me find it, the ship is yours for as long as you're here. Yes, excellent. Okay, tell me about this timber tyrant. The Timber Tyrant was a cruel ruler who rose from these isles many years ago to enslave his own people and conquer the world. He is often thought only a myth now, but I have reason to believe he was quite real. And if he is real, then his treasures must be real, and with that treasure, our debt could be paid. Is this token part of it? Because it's got a picture of a tree on it. This token, which was given to me by my grandmother, when I was but a hatchling, maybe an important clue. Oh, okay, I was taking a token from you. I believe others here in Port Dara have similar tokens, and if the tales are true, then they are somehow related to the tyrant and his resting place. How big is your ship, Captain Pelargos? She's all yours! That's not an answer! Though, before you take her out, you might want to get a good compass. I don't have one, since we storks can navigate by the internal compass nature has blessed us with. Well, fuck you. But I'm sure you'll be able to find one here on the Isle of the Moon. I want a sextant is equally invaluable. You should have both before you set out. More things to do. Great. Tell me about yourself. Why would a stork need a boat, you may wonder, if he can fly? That's a good question. I hadn't thought of that, actually. Because I love the sea, of course. And because I'm afraid of heights. That must suck. Wow. That really sucks. I got another token. Let's look at those tokens. Tokens, 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 token, decipherer disc, no, captain's token, Patrick's token, they look exactly the same, spinner, shiny, smells of leprechaun, mouse doesn't care, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's shiny, smells of feathers, mouse doesn't care, yeah, so I think I'm done in this town now, let's, Go back here. Doorbell still does nothing. I need a compass. Can you help with that? A compass? Why, yes, I do have one. It's yours if you want it. I certainly have little use for it these days. It's inside in the blue cabinet. The door's unlocked. You just need to pull harder. Thank you. That's very kind of you, Jack. The Octopirate. I also need to know about the Timber Tyrant. I've heard the stories. I've even seen some of his sunken ships and the cities he burned that never grew again. Not so much unlike this Lord Urizen now. It just goes to show it don't matter where you're from, tyranny lives everywhere. That's rather grim. I can go in now, Blue Cabinet. Compass! <laughs> also some sponges, but I don't need them. Teddy Bear! Jack's beloved teddy bear, Ursus Arctos. That's cool. And an alarm clock. <laughs> Set to Eastern Octopus time. Prawn soup. A flower. Called Harry. A flower not called Harry. They think that Woodsworth is overrated and prefer Robert Frost. What is the in uh, seaweed stuff? Think. Words. I can't words right now. Well, that's nice of him. Let's go. Uh, current objectives. Fine, now I'm on the Isle of the Sun. Can't get there yet. Heal under home. What do I need to do that? I need the stuff. Let's go back to under home and find out. Lizard. A <laughs> thoughtful lizard. What is a lizard? Am I a lizard? You're a lizard. What do you know about the... Does he know about us? What are we to him? Tell me about the underhome. Is this our home? Are we its lizards? Is a cave our life form? What does it think about us? Why do we think about it? Are we part of us? Is it part of us? Is there a window nearby? Are you looking in or am I looking out? 
Do you know what's through this door? Is it an entrance or an exit? Can a cave have a door? If the sea rises, will we drown? Will the door hold off the waves? Would you like a cookie? Can you have a cookie? No. Fuck you and your cookies. More thoughtful lizard! No, silly lizard. Hiya <laughs> wee wee he. Lizard, I'm a lizard. Wicko wibby chew. I'm a lizard with a tail. Is he a lizard? Got scales, yay. Have fun with that. I don't think they were there before. What's in here? <laughs> Something green from there. And have you always noticed that these things always accumulate the most disgusting fluids in history? And that they fall over whenever it's most... I have noticed that. That's true. Fish is called Rene and Pierre. And a light bulb. Over. Oh, right. I can make the soup. Scroll recipes. Soup of recovery. I need salmon of... Oh, I need salmon. I also need bacteriolytic baharat. I don't know what that is. Hair of the dog, carrot, and leek. I'm a jump to Port Dara. Walk on in. And try to get fish from you. I need a salmon of wisdom. Oh, how unfortunate. I just hit the mic. I'm not sure if you heard that. I have so many types of fish, but sadly none of that. If you'd come a few years ago, I could have provided a magnificent specimen. But when Mayor Pengelog took over, he brokered a deal with a fishery on the mainland. And they sent their boats here and caught so much salmon that we never saw any again. That sucks. Also, do you have stuff for jellification? Oh, the possibility. Oh, right, that's you want it. Yeah, never mind. Token. Oh, that thing. I gave it to Boren in exchange for an Atlantean scratching post. It was a little dilapidated, but I fixed it up and it's been absolutely worth it. Who's Boren? Also, um, I think I need to ask Oi something. Token. Token! I do have something. Look, you do me a favor, I'll take some time to try and find it. With that old man drinking so much, I'm entirely run out of good beer, which I get from the brewery in the Glen. You seem quite capable of carrying quite you seem to be capable of carrying quite a lot in that window of yours. Words. I did it. So if you could go get me some, I'd really appreciate it. Tell the brewer I sent you. Okay. Doctor? Token? No. Old guy, token, no. Let's go to the Glen. New location! Ooh. Ooh, music. This colorful stream flower has a very pleasant smell. Forest animals often eat these before going on a date. Oh, that's adorable. Forwards. Tree mushrooms. Tree mushrooms are cool, as are bow ties. Very unusual flower. A non-alcoholic flower, always good. A cute ladybug is writing a sonnet to Bob the Spider under one of these flowers. I remember Bob the Spider, he's a cool guy. Whoa, okay. Hi. Our smell of the day, death. This is, could go poorly. Who are you? I is Molly too. Means black papa, cause I'm tan in as black fur eyes, harbingers of death. Well, fuck. He's tiny? That's terrifying. I don't want to see a big one. It's a nice forest. I like the streams I make splash. Puppy is hungry. Ugly shit make bad sound. Scare puppy foods away. You help puppy. I guess if you won't kill me. Onward! Door. <laughs> Flower smell of beer. Kegs of excellent beer. Hello, pigman. Aye, what is it, traveler? Torkin. My name is Torkin. <laughs> what a lovely guess that I just made. And this is my brewery. I make the finest beer in these islands. My family's lived here on the Isle of Moon since before records began. Ah, uh, we've been brewing beer ever since. Banvin, I believe, is your son. 
but I can be a little foolish if you know what I mean. But it's not in the right place. Mm -hmm. That's what truly matters, is it not? So I hear you brew. An ancient honorable art. Passed down through the generations to generations since the earliest days of the world. Beer brings health and good cheer to all, and I'm proud to be a brewer. Good cheer, certainly. But health is debatable. <clears throat> Shadowy Glen. It's too quiet and peaceful. No, it's not too quiet. It is quiet and peaceful, and the water is fresh. What better place to build a brewery? There's also the Harbinger of Death who talks in semi leaf speak, so hey. Petrified Forest. The Petrified Forest is a strange place. Somewhat to the north of here. Here, I'll mark it on your magic map. You may want to stay away from there, though. It's eerie. Some say it sprang from the ground when the timber tyrant died. I need some beer for Oi. Oh, he needs beer again already? Well, I won't complain. Here, put these in your window. Only the finest. Cool. Do you have a token? I do have such a token. I know a little of its history, too. All the families that rose against the timber tyrant have one to ensure the tyrant remains entombed forever. I might be willing to part with it, but it is more precious than the people of Port Tyrant know. I'll tell you what. Since you're a traveler, perhaps you can find something for me. Some time ago, an old friend of mine, Ninkasi, promised to send me the recipe for her secret beer. It never arrived, and she pridefully refuses to send it again. If you locate it for me, I will give you the token. I got beer! This list is getting longer all the time. Look at it. It's like pages long. God damn. I also wanted to ask you about the timber tyrant. Wait, what? About the timber tyrant. He was the king of the isles a long time ago. I'm just changing this guy's voice all over. He was the king of the isles a long time ago. A great general and a terrible man. He conquered and slaughtered and oppressed like few before him until our ancestors rose up against him. They say his tomb is in the petrified forest. Good to know. Thank you. Not going there yet. Poor Dara. Dara! Do you have a token? I don't have something like that. I don't think so. Maybe you should ask my father. I did. He had it. Not giving it to me yet, though. Do you have a token? I would give it to you for free if I still had it, but I deadly do not. I traded it to Traveler from the Isle of the Stars a few weeks ago. Right, you're gonna go, have to go there. Then I'm gonna need a sextant. A sextant? Yes, I do believe I have one. I'll trade it for you. For an amulet. Not any amulet. But one I lost some time ago and would dearly love to recover. I left it in Alwynion when last I was there to trade, before the town was abandoned. It's not precious, so perhaps it's still there where the market used to be. A foolish hope, perhaps, but what do we have these days but foolish hopes? Not money, certainly. Anyway, I would be grateful if you went there and looked. It's a long way to walk for an old dwarf. If it's not there, I'll give you the sextant anyway. It's not there. <laughs> Olinion is with the old wheelwright's village, up north in a valley beyond the shadowy glen. It's a nice place, quiet, perhaps a little too quiet. It was the first place to be struck down by the debt, as people forced to live a life so frugal that they had to abandon their homes. Perhaps we should have seen it as a warning that the same would not be done to Port Dara. Certainly the frugality did not help them. When the village was abandoned, its debt was higher than ever, and all the land was claimed by Lord Urizen. Clearly this is a power play by this fucking Urizen guy, who's fucking everyone's business up. Isle of the Moon? No, that's where we are. Um, market. No, that's this one. Um, going to Alwynion.